Shoulder sideways, smack it, smack it in the air. Legs move it side to side, smack it in the air. Hey y'all, if you guys don't already know, my name is Kayla. I am officially <laughs> a junior at Clark Atlanta. Um, and so I did this video just to, you know, help you guys out some because I know a lot of y'all have so many questions and I know y'all are asking me, y'all are asking other people, but I just want to make this general video just to let you guys know what's going on. Summer preparation. Okay, so what you guys should be doing right now is really focusing on making the transition between high school and college. Like it's it's a huge difference. Like you're gonna you're moving into a whole new atmosphere. Like you're gonna be moving to Atlanta, like Atlanta. Alright, so what you guys need to be doing now is just shopping for stuff for your dorm, getting to know, like, say you 19, like, y'all are deep, y'all are really deep, for real. Um, <laughs> what y'all really need to be doing is working on getting financially enrolled, because majority of y'all aren't. I'm just gonna be honest like some y'all don't even know how to get financially enrolled and like I'm just here to tell you how okay so to get financially enrolled into Clark Atlanta you only have to pay a few things tuition fees room and your meal plan those four things that's it not transportation not miscellaneous not books no like you only need those four things and that is roughly about 31k 32k if you want a little refund check you do not need thirty six thousand dollars to come to Clark Atlanta University whoever is telling you these things are lying to you because financial aid sent out a report saying how much Clark Atlanta costs to get financially enrolled all the other stuff is extra that's extra it really is um, so basically you guys need to just be finding all types of scholarships, grants, like I know a lot of y'all are not trying to take out loans, but it's gonna come down to it and you're probably gonna have to take out those loans, just being honest, cause I have a full tuition scholarship, but I still have to pay for room and board and took out like a little small loan just to do that. Um, so it's gonna get to those points so one thing I would say is definitely have a backup plan like have another college in mind just in case you can't get enrolled into Clark Atlanta because a lot of y'all are gonna get y'all feelings hurt when y'all come down in August with your mama and daddy you're gonna try and move into that dorm and then you're gonna be like oh you're not financially enrolled so you're gonna be sitting in the financial aid line for five hours so that they're trying to get financially enrolled and then you can't and so then you're just stuck and it's like we could have did this in june or july okay so one thing y'all keep asking me about is orientation okay there are two orientations there's one in june and one in july the first one is june 13th it's next saturday um, and the next one is in July. It's July 18th. Um, you guys just be prepared for that. Um, orientation, from my understanding, it is mandatory. Um, and they said it was mandatory, but I'm not completely sure about. I don't know. I'll get back to y'all on it. Okay. So, um, at orientation, orientation is for you to mainly get financially enrolled. Talk to financial aides, talk to student accounts, figure out how you're going to pay for CAU, um, whether you want to do a payment plan or you just go ahead and take out that loan for extra funding. Like, this is what this is for. It's also for you to, um, just get your housing because there's been a lot with that housing portal like y'all i don't even know what's going on myself like i don't even really got a room but i pay my money so they better have my room it's also for you to get your schedule if you already haven't got your schedule if you want to change your major like a lot of y'all are having problems with your majors being you know mixed up like if you're a criminal justice major but it says your biology you definitely want to get that changed before you get here like yeah um it's also for you to just meet and mingle with people um but you know it really is about you getting your business done you can also take a um a tour of the campus if you haven't um it's a really great campus and just be able to get the feel of where you're going to be for the next four years 
all right um so now we got through orientation next up is you coming to atlanta like welcome to atlanta like it's amazing like okay y'all i'm from georgia i'm from columbus shout out 706 but atlanta is a whole new experience like you're gonna have so many opportunities and um you're just gonna be able to do so much like at clark atlanta we pride ourselves on finding internships and networking like networking 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 that is what college is seriously about but like you should be able to network your butt off like even just at clark atlanta but at spillman and morehouse too like there's so much to do like like campus life is amazing like people are friendly you know for the most part you know there's so many campus events like there's going to be so much for you to do once you get here like we're gonna have an organization fair after induction um so the 50 60 organizations that we have on campus they'll be there for you to sign up and join stuff i say sign up for like four or five and some of the organizations that i'm involved in i'm just going ahead and name them so y'all can see like what i'm doing i'm an orientation guy so i'm over orientation cau experience fun life shout out 101g okay um i'm also an admissions ambassador so um basically what i do is i give campus tours i assist with the um prospective students and also sometimes with the incoming students it's really fun you get a great experience and it's just really fun um i'm also in the bold beautiful chic society it's an organization for the full figure women on campus shout out you know i was in the pageant we won best pageant shout out to bbc i am also in the isabella t jenkins honors program um hp for short um it's just an amazing experience like it's really great if you were in honors in high school honors program at clark atlanta is like 20 times better we get so many perks and just amazing opportunities being in the honors program itself and like we're just basically like a big family like it's really just a great experience being in the honors program in the red black and gray leadership academy um basically we just work on um leadership skills like it's like the most active people on campus coming together working to do like work on initiatives we, we work with the clinton global initiative university and so like we work on stuff to do in the community it's really great and you just build like teamwork and leadership skills but i don't want to leave anything out but i can't really think right now so i'm gonna come back um but okay so moving into like your dorms like picking your roommates like um, the freshman dorms that are available are the Swedes, you have Pfeiffer Hall, Murder Hall, and Holmes Hall. Um, so those are your choices. Um, everybody loves the Swedes, you know, I guess. Um, everybody loves the Swedes just because, you know, it's more spacious and it's, like, low-key cheaper. And, like, they're just really great dorms if you like more privacy and if you don't like community bathrooms. But I can definitely say that the traditional dorms are, they're great dorms. Like, they're, um, a little bit newer and they're just a great experience. Like, you really get to bond in those dorms. Like, not saying you can't bond in the suites, but you really get that more of experience, like, in the traditional dorms. Um, making friends is fairly easy. Like, there is going to be so many different types of people at Clark Atlanta. Like, we have people from all across the country. Um, <laughs> we have people from Oregon, California, the DMV. Um, Tri State, you know, up there with New York. Um, the Midwest is real deep, like Chicago, um, Wisconsin. There's people from the dirty south that's real deep, like Florida, Georgia, you know, Texas, Louisiana. We real deep, y'all. And then there's people that's like from Nebraska and Oklahoma. Oh, there's a couple, y'all. It's a couple. It's, yeah. Alright, um, CAU experience. CAU experience is basically like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's a week before you get here and it's, 
school before classes start. And it's just full of different activities for you to bond with your classmates and just be able to get the feel of how Clark Atlanta is going to be for the next four years. Like, it's there are a lot, a lot, a lot of fun activities for you guys to do, like y'all gonna see like we got some stuff in store for y'all but you know there are some very educational parts like there's a good amount of things that you're just gonna be learning and taking in like it's gonna be a great experience um one thing that you're gonna need for the experience you're gonna need a white dress for induction so it's you know that time of year i don't know if y'all graduation they make y'all wear a white dress but we did so you know go ahead be looking for that white dress you know not cream not off-white not eggshell but white because you're gonna be able to tell like you're gonna really be able to tell um diversity <sighs> this diversity Oh, diversity, like I just told y'all, we have people from all across the country. We have people from out of the country. We have people from Hades, the Caribbean, like what? We have so much diversity. If you think all black people are the same, there's something wrong with you. Because, like, you get to meet so many different peoples from so many different walks of life. Like, it's, I can't even describe it. You just have to experience it. Um, also, some people asked about how, like, how it's working and having a car. Um, you can have a car. As a freshman, you just have to buy a parking pass. Um, some of the places that people park, um, with a parking pass, you can buy one for the parking deck. You can buy one for, um, Bumstead. That's right. It's, like, right between Brawley and the Swedes. So, like, if you're staying in the Swedes, um... And there's also warehouse on like the other side but down there by walmart but some people park over there but not too many um and like heritage is for people who stay in heritage and brawley is for the residents in brawley but then like if you don't want to pay for parking then there's you can always like try and park on like the side of the suites or up there by the traditional dorms but you know eh, people anyhow uh, Alright, so a lot of y'all going to be lucky enough to get a refund check. Um, and with that refund check, is it's any extra financial aid that you have that's like refunded over. So you'll most likely get that. Um, but you're going to have to wait 30 days until after classes start. Sorry, that's only for freshmen. I get mine 10 days after. So y'all are probably not going to get that refund check to the end of like September-ish maybe yeah i'm sorry but okay so um this is kind of like the end of my video um if you have any questions just tweet me dm me you know mention me follow me on instagram um i am looking for mentees i have so many already but i'm not gonna say no to anybody like i just love being able to help and be a big sister to you guys um so you know just follow me and thank you guys for watching if any other questions go ahead ask Thanks, bye. Change the game when that digital drops. Know where you was when that digital popped. I stopped the world. Male or female, it make no difference. I stopped the world. World stop. Carry on. Kitty on fake. Pretty on fake. Pretty, pretty, pretty gang always.